Hello and welcome to the highlights of the Women's League Exhibition Match 1 at the Pindi Cricket Stadium, Amazons vs Superwomen. Bisma Maruf, the captain of Amazons, won the toss and decided to bat first. Bisma Maruf leading the Amazons, some firepower up front. Danny Wyatt and Beaumont opening for them. Ali Arias with some power hitting available later on and some fast bowling in Sana. A quick look at the Superwomen squad being led by Nida Dar and the 11 in front of us with Muniba Ali, the wicket keeper, Tamari Atapatu from Sri Lanka, also having Leah Tahuhu, some foreign stars, some local talent, and the emerging players making a great combination for the first match and the 11 of Superwomen. Let's join the action as Danny Wyatt and Beaumont come out to open. Right, here we go, first ball. Now Aaliyah Tahuhu should get a little bit of swing. We mentioned to see how much there is given the the conditions. It's a day game, it's not under lights, and we all know the ball tends to curve a little, possibly under lights. That will be runs. The first runs for the Amazon and the first runs that kick off uh, these games. A couple of Tammy Beaumont's bat. There it is, banged in short and given the treatment through the offside, first boundary from Tammy Beaumont and the Amazons. Yeah, into the pitch, but too short. And it just stood up to be punished, and it was through the offside. A bit of air up in the air through the covers. Glorious timing from Danny Wyatt. She will not miss out on such an invitation. Yeah, terrific shot. Straight away, slightly over pitched. And she's climbed into this. It's the arm ball, so the ball just coming on to the bat. And it has pinged off the middle. Another one over the top. That is a terrific shot. This time, she's just lifted it over point. Oh, Danny. What? In the thick of it now, is finding a groove. Iqbal a little nervy, understandably. And her length and range is just off at the moment from her. Oh, charge on. Flicks it off, his le off her legs into the fence. And the Amazons have come out all guns blazing. Nicely played, using the pace and the angle. She's dealing again in boundaries, continues to do so, Danny Wyatt. It's her fourth. Yes, DW. Out of the UK. Lovely hands. Yeah, beautiful. A little bit of curve in the air, but just helped it on its way. Well done, Danny Wyatt. Uh, gave herself room. Toying with the field here. A couple of bounces into the fence to end the over with a boundary. Tammy Beaumont moves to 20. Amazon's 41 for no loss. Oh, that's uh, leading edge. Should be out. Almost a collision, but it is out. It's the first wicket for the super women. Tuba Hassan, I think, has pouched it. And it's Masuma Zehra Fatma, the emerging player from the Super Women. We have been talking about her. Good seam position there, good line and length. And may Temi Beaumont play across the line. Tuba Hassan grabbing it just in front of the third fielder. But in the end, what matters is that she took the catch. Masuma, Jaff, Masuma Zehra, she has been working really hard on her game. Gets Temi Beaumont out for 24. Amazon. 46 for one. Get it! Yeah! It's a great catch. That is a stunning catch. Sadia Iqbal takes what could be the catch of the match. Long way to go, I know, but it's a brilliant catch. Straight to the fielder. She'll be disappointed, and what a catch. On a rebound. She's a good fielder, Sadia. Safe hands, and she is delighted. Nidadar, big wicket, back-to-back -back wickets for Amazon. 
Danny Wyatt's gone for 22, Amazon's 49 for two. This is through, it'll be four. It's a fast outfield. 50 up for Amazons. This Mama Roof, it's down the leg side and she's just got a glove on that. Leading edge, catch it, taken. Tuba Hassan straight into first ball wicket. Chamari Yadav had a simple catch. And uh, another one goes back to the dugout. Have a look at that. Yeah, just too much bottom hand on that. And straight to the fielder inside the circle. A nice progression. Chance again and deep at uh, long off. Laura Volfart takes the catch and another one down now. It was there to be hit. I was spliced off the bat and went straight down the hands of Laura Wolfart. Exceptional fielder she is. Not going to put them down. And Tuba Hassan has two. Down the track. That is a glorious shot. That is the first six of the game. Uh, who better than to do it? Alia Riaz. What a hit. Yeah, Duli, she's one of those players. She can clear any ground in the world. One of the most powerful hitters in Pakistan women cricket. Oh, sliced and gone. So, uh, Tahuhu. She uh, gets in the wicket column here with her first this afternoon. Gulfiroza, who generally, generally opens the batting, comes down the order, tries to muscle it down. But the bat turns in her hand and an easy catch for Nedadar. Liyat Tahuhu with her first wicket on Pakistan soil. And into the gap. And a boundary much needed here for the Amazons. Yeah, she needs to speed up things. Alia Riaz, well set on 38 now. Searching for that length. Tahuhu this time. But fuller, the length actually allowed her to get underneath it. Try on and direct hits. At a patu. <laughs> and the pocket. And is four. Lovely stuff here, Sana Khan. Oh, hello. Back-to-back -back boundaries here. And uh, Lauren Winfield-Hill, no chance. Because whether it's spinners or fast bowlers, she has great swing, fast hands, and a good mind. Oh, it's a miss hit. Who wants it? It's up in the air. And taken. In trajectory, she was deep in crease, then again decided to come down. It was actually a full toss, never easy to put away, always tricky. And she managed to just grab onto it, Leah Tahuhu. Catch! Oh, there's a catch and there's another! Skipper's on a hat trick here. <laughs> it was Nashra, my fault, wanted to go over covers to Maria Tapatu. With an easy catch, Nashra has to walk back without scoring. Another miss hit. And they'll just get a single. Finish things off. 132 posted for the loss of nine. As the Amazons turn it back from 20 overs. So at the end of the first innings in the 20 overs, 132 for nine by the Amazon. Beaumont and Danny White started brilliantly in the power play, but then somewhere Amazons lost their way. A good handy knock by Ali Riaz, 38 or 35, gave some respectability to the total, but still one would feel they were around 20-25 short on a pitch like that.
Super women bowling and the captain leading from the front, Nidadar, 3 for 25. The leading wicket taker, 2 for 2, ba, a wicket each for Omehani, Sayyada Masuma and Lia Tahuhu. So the target for the super women to win the first exhibition match, 133 in their allotted 20 at 6.65 runs and over. Let's join the action as the super women come out with the reply. And straight away, there was an edge, I think they had dropped. And a very good start, I think, you because you don't know what Tess Flintoff does and Muniba Ali straight away challenged by her. Yeah, that movement. Let's have a look if there was an edge. Yeah, there was a slight deflection, diving to the left, just getting under the bottom part of that wicketkeeper's glove. Yeah, that was a healthy edge. That's a chance. Go on. Uh, the Patu, you can't bowl loose deliveries to this Sri Lankan. She is prolific, but Muniba as well. I beg your pardon, Muniba. If she, if it's short, she'll she'll punish you. And this has been her area when she made that century in the Women's World Cup. She loves short delivery with pace on. And there's no fielder there. Again, a short delivery. Muniba Ali was on it very quickly. Yeah, Alan, we saw that in the men's game yesterday here, afternoon games. And this is the power of Chamari Tapatu. The moment you are going to bowl full to her with two fielders outside, she is brilliant. Yeah, you can see that in her arc, and she goes with that swing. The power is there, bottom hand in that, and she clears it comfortably. Anam Amin this time a bit shorter, and uh, inside edge. Again, the same, another boundary. In a very good shot, Muniba Ali Siddiqui. You are going to ball shot to her, whether it's on the offside or the leg side. She's going to make you pay. She's got two left-handers here, Fatima Sana, and she prefers to ball to right-handed batters. Look how she's come out of the crease here, Muniba. It doesn't matter because she's playing with the field. She knows that mid-off has come up. Now she goes offside. Atapatu is so strong, both sides of the wicket here, look at that, it's that free flow of the bat, oh hello, she knows it's good, watch the way she just puts the gun back in the holster. And what a wonderful shot, both fielders on the leg side on the boundary but no chance, that's the timing and power of Chamari Atapatu. Yeah, this time again with the spin. It's just strange how much power she can put in the shot first, inside out, over extra. And it's up in there, Bisma is under it and a very good catch. Anam Amin gets the revenge, gets the big wicket of Chamari Atapatu. Well, the adrenaline was flowing for Chamari Atapatu. She fancied this for another boundary. And she came across the ball, she scythed it. Good catch this by Bismar Maruf. Over her shoulder, running backwards. This is a better field, but the bowling is not good. Now the fielders, two fielders are on the leg side, but she's bowling outside of stump. That's a good ploy from the super women because they're trying to cash out on this power play. They get as many as possible before the field opens up. You can throw your bat at it. It was very full. It had that width and you can fancy your chances when you know the fielders are inside the circle. Up and over. That should be another boundary. The ball races across the turf. That also brings up the super women 50. And this is some really classy batting from the left-hander Muniba. And that's why she's such a dangerous player. We saw the sweep shot and now over extra. So both sides of the pitch. Every couple of deliveries, the outside edge and that'll race away to the fence. Another boundary for the super women.
side. Muniba has been clean bowled. And she's come, come down the track, missed the line of the ball and trying to hoik it into the leg side. Danny uh, Nasha Sandhu with some air on the ball. Hits off stump. Yeah, there you go. It's just an endorsement how good this side is. They're making it look very easy. Another boundary closing up to 100. We're just two down. Nasha Sandhu going on the leg side. The protection was not there for her for this delivery. There's a left arm spinner, two fielders on the offside, two on the left side in front. Wow, talk about placement and timing. She's uh, bisected the two boundary riders with ease, ending the over with the two boundaries at 12 of it. That's a lovely shot. Raced away to the boundary. Laura Volfart is uh, finding her timing here and making light work of this score at the moment. Straight. And that'll be another boundary. Getting closer to that first win. Just seven more required. 15 gone. 126 for two. And Nidadar, this time with a straighter bat. Straight down the ground. There was no fielder on long off. Easy pickings for Nedadar, who's now looking really good. 22 of 20. And uh, Volvart, yeah, I like this. Laura, that's nice. And that'll go for four as well. And uh, half century. Laura, well played. Volvart is uh, looking as classy as ever. She has been in great form, and she has punished every bad delivery that has been thrown to her this time the pace was not on the ball it was short it was wide and there it is in style son of air you said it in fact it's gone over the rope for the maximum and they've got home rather comfortably here have the super women on a super day and laura wolfart coming from a brilliant world cup she was the highest run getter Takes her team home with a six, scores a 50. The Superwoman win by eight wickets. So the chase for the Superwomen was a walk in the park with Muniba Ali and Chamra Atapatu giving them a good start in the power play, 33 and 23 respectively. And then Laura Wolfa was 53 not out of 36, finished the game off along with the captain Nidadar, 23 of 21. 138 was always a score that was gettable and they got it in 15.5 overs. Quick look at the Amazons bowling. Just the two wickets that fell, one to Anam, one for 30, and the other went to Nashra Sandhu. She got one for 23. So the match summary of the Women's League's exhibition match one. Amazons won the toss, decided to bat first, posted 132 for nine. Alia got a good finishing 38 of 35, and up in the order, Vermont and Danny Wyatt got 24 and 22. But the score was not good enough, maybe 20 short from what was expected. Superwomen in reply 138 for two in 15.5 and claiming the first game by eight wickets. Hope you've enjoyed the highlights of the Women's League exhibition match one from the Pindi Cricket Stadium. Until next time, it's goodbye.